What's up guys, Putty here and welcome back for another episode of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. This is Mid-Atlantic Wrestling Ultimate Warriors. Let's get rolling, really. Um, everyone's back. Everyone's ready. The time is right. Who are we going to put in the main event tonight? I think Casey Valentine deserves a run. It's been a while. Uh, I know, he, he kind of botched it last time we tried to put him in the main event with somebody. Fro is your safe bet. Um, hmm. Lots of options, lots of options. The ring generals are always nice to pull out, pull, pull out of your hat. Mean Jean's always a decent option too. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to have Mean Jean versus Fro for the title again, so. Might as well put Mean Jean in this match. Uh, with Sam Keith Road Agent in it. And have Fro go over, open, call, decisive. And yep. Yeah. That's fine. Good stuff. And then in the semi-main event, another match between... Actually, let's just put it on. Let's put... Ernest ping, pinned Animal DeVille recently. And let's just put the television title. Let's just have this match, because uh, they've been meaning to have it for a while. So there you go. And Ernest Young went over. Open. Called. Oh, maybe not called. Scripted. Decisive. There you go. Ernest versus Animal DeVille for the television title. And then we'll have, since the Modern Dragons had a win last week. No. Was it Chaos last week? No, I don't think I don't think it was Chaos last week. Or was it? I can't... No, it wasn't. It was the Modern Dragons. I'm almost sure of it. So let's put them out there against some mid-card, upper mid-card faces. Like, there's a lot of tag team wrestlers here. <laughs> Can't do Crime and Punishment because they're already booked. What about Groucho, Bling, and... Oof, that's not a lot of momentum. Um, Nate DeMarcus. How about Groucho, Bling, and Nate DeMarcus? That makes a lot of sense to me. Unless there's some bad chemistry going on there. It is probably a 10 minute match, but we'll make it 8 minutes. Have Deuce go over Nate, and... Groucho won't complain because he's not getting pinned. And then we will have a six-woman mayhem match. Seriously. <laughs> Alicia, Bell, and Brooke versus Higa, Hellcat, and Japensha. Oh, All-star. All-star match. I'm expecting great things, girls. I know I'm not giving you that much time, but this is about as much as the crowd will allow women's wrestling for some reason. Um, mm, Brooke Tyler pins Hellcat Hernandez. Open. I'm pretty sure this can be called. I'll have to have a look at Hellcat and Brooke to see if they've gotten to the point where they can call it. Uh, because Bell's obviously fine with calling it. Yep, she can probably call it. What about Shiori? Oh, no, of course she can. Uh, what about Hellcat? Mmm, it's on the edge. I think we should just script it. It's a, it's a pretty bonkers match. There's a lot of elements involved. Alright, opening the show up with a Fro Shore promo. On Boon. Fro Shore on Madman Boon. Take the script away, see how he does with that. Then we will go straight into a pre-match singles catchphrase from Alicia Strong. Yep. Sounds good to me. Then we will have a promo from Animal DeVille on Mr. Ernest Youngman. Like that. Where are we? Okay, we can have another six. Okay. And then we will have a promo from Youngman on DeVille. I'm not going to do any pre-show stuff this week either because I don't know, I'm, I'm lazy. That's honestly the reason. And then pre-match, singles catchphrase from Fro again. No script. To cap the show off. We can actually make that two minutes. So we shall. We're in the mall zone. Is it going to be sold out? Indeed it is. Thinking about expanding the mall zone to 15,000. But it might be premature. 
and then we're on the show. Come on. Uh-oh. Fro was terrible with no fuel. See, it's random. It's destiny rolls. That's the problem. Alicia does slightly better. The match doesn't... Like, it's it's not amazing, but it's good. We knew it was going to do good. That's probably going to steal the entire show, which is unfortunate. But, it, you know, I'm okay with that. Animal cuts the promo. It's okay. This Team Chaos match is okay. Ernest cuts the promo. That's okay as well. And then the semi-main event. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure if... I can't remember what their last match was like, but this is very good. Ernest Youngman wins the MAW television title. It's his first gold in the company. For sure, cutting a good promo. He also wasn't very good this time. And then the main event is okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Probably because of the low announcer quality, but the, the, the show should do pretty well. Yeah, an ADB, which increases our popularity everywhere except for the Mid-Atlantic. All right, yeah. Again, the women continue to just absolutely steal the show, but uh, that's fine. Who's, ooh, new feud? Alex DeColt and Zeus Maximilian. Don't know about Zeus Maximilian. Good rating, really good rating, actually. And we're making money, I'm assuming. <laughs> yep, Almost, we're going to hit the four million more. Ah, I forgot to turn Chloe Dean again. Uh, whatever, whatever. We should be using the time, we should be using the pre-show time a bit more than we are. Because getting these guys tag team experience is going to be a big deal. Oh, Ice of Mayhem are up to 86 tag team experience. That'll be good. The more tag team experience they have, the, the better off we're going to be. Because the, the better match, the better their matches are going to be. It's just how it is. Oh, I think that's an increase. I think we're up one already. Oh, I think that's spillover right there. Yeah, I think this all might be spillover actually. Almost, yeah, I think almost certainly. I think this is the spillover. I think the spillover has happened. Yeah, almost certainly. Yeah. I think the tri... I think... Um, I think one of these spilled over into these two regions. I think the southeast... What does the southeast spill into, over into? Puerto Rico. There you go. And then Puerto Rico sp uh, sp doesn't spill over anywhere. But... Uh, the Great Lakes spilled over into the Tri-State. Oh yeah, there you go. You got Ontario there as well. Uh, the Great Lakes spilled over into the Tri-State, and it's seventeen. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why we got this spillover. Maybe Ontario. No, no. Ontario wouldn't have triggered spillover yet. How did we get that spillover? Hmm. That's an interesting one. Oh well. So what's the next spillover point? Is C plus? Ooh, that's a while away. So. Not really going to be relying too much on that one. We need to get the, we need to get twelve more importance in the southeast. That's that's a long way off as well. Oh well, let's uh, yeah, let's just keep foraging on. Let's just keep moving on. Let's just keep uh, keeping our uh, keep our uh, momentum going. Hopefully, ah, oh, she's going down again. Uh, I hate it. I hate booking TV. I'm not very good at it at all. And then Alicia continues to go up. I'm assuming, yeah. Fuyuku is doing fine. What about the other girls in that match? Hellcat's still doing fine. Wow. Surprising. She took the pinfall and she's still doing pretty good. And I know she's down, but everyone is. And who was the other one in that match? Right, a Shiori Japan Shah. Is she down, really? She... No, she's not. Okay, that's f that's fine then. We she can't she can't be going down. Like we need her to to stay rising because she's really good. I cannot book television shows. I know, but I'm we're, we're making progress. We're making progress. We just need to keep keep moving forward. And uh, yeah, that's all all I really need to say. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave thumbs up. Check out the rest of the series. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave any feedback you have in the comments. I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll speak to you guys for the next episode of Ultimate War.